Welcome back to another episode of Bathing with Captain Lou. Guys, I'm out here in the marshlands and I just realized I've never given you guys a review of my Bass Hunter boat. So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my three and a half year review, what I like, what I don't like, and some of the modifications I've done. Pretty cool video, check this out. So as I head back, what do I like about the boat? There's a few things. I like the portability of it. I like the stability of it. I mean, I could, as you guys can see here, I can make you guys dizzy. I don't want to make you guys dizzy, but as you guys can see, the boat is really, really stable. I don't, I don't, I'm never afraid that I'm gonna fall over. Uh, you guys have seen plenty of my videos out here in the marshlands where you guys see me set the hook and, and I don't fall out of the boat. I mean, the one time I almost fell out is because I was doing, I wasn't paying attention with the trolling motor as I was standing. So that was the only reason I knocked my own self off balance. So it's not the boat's fault. But again, it's a great fishing platform. As far as stuff that I, I don't like about it, my main complaint about this boat is that once the wind catches it, it's gonna take you all over the place. There is a rudder system that the boat does have that, that, that may help stabilize the boat in the water. But if I don't have that rudder system, but without a rudder, I mean, this boat goes all over the place on high winds. And that's my number one complaint about this boat is, is that it's just when it's windy, it's, it's just brutal. But uh, I'm about to uh, beach now and um, I'm going to go ahead and cover some other aspects of the boat that I like and uh, just share with you guys my bass hunter. All right, so here she is, the Bass Hunter boat. As you guys can see here, it's the original Bass Hunter. Like I said, it's eight feet in length. So this style of boat is a one piece mold. As you guys can see here, there's no rivets whatsoever along the seam. It's just one piece of this special type of uh, material. Uh, other brands out there are two pieces where you'll have rivets along the side here. Uh, but in this case, it's just a one piece, which is pretty cool. Moving right along, this is this is my boat fully equipped right now. So what you guys see is I got my spare battery, I got my video equipment, I got my fishing bag, my cooler, my PFD, okay? And then as you guys can see back over here, easily carry four rods. And one of the differences that I have made is that I use, I don't use the original seats. I find them cumbersome, so I have this type of like a camping seat right here, and I'm able to fold it like so, and then put it away to the side. And now I have an entire fishing platform that you guys have seen in my videos. And then when I'm, when I'm going back, I just open it up, and I'm back, and I'm able to, uh, to move around. What I like about these particular type of seats right here, I'm able to put away my rod socks and my and my reel covers and all that stuff. So it's a multi-purpose type of seat, which I really like. And then moving back here, as far as the um, the outboard, quote unquote, this is a, a Minn Kota Endura. This here is a 45 pound Minn Kota Endura. It's the, with the digital maximizer. I like this trolling motor a lot. I have a battery case. Inside this case, I have a lithium 100 amp hour lithium battery. Um, and I'm using this particular case right here. I really like this case compared to other cases. I've had it for a while. I'm able to do multiple types of connections in here. As you guys can see, it has all these little electric connections that I can do. Here's where I hook up the actual trolling motor so overall I really really like this case and because it's a lithium I'm able to lift it up pretty easily so moving on to the other side over here this is my anchor system it's the Scotty anchor system I love it it deploys the anchor very easily as you guys can see here this is a 15 pound anchor and it handles it like a champ and right next to it you can see my electrical connection for my Yolo Tech or my Yolo Tech, the power stick where I do my YouTube videos. Um, everything here uh, I did not do. All this was done by my business partner, uh, Lee Harrelson. 
a couple of years back. He did all these things for me on the boat and they're great. So I have my connection here for lights or anything like that. And then through here, as we could see, I have my electrical connection. So I could go ahead and from the juice of the battery pack, I could run my GoPro all day or anything else electronic all day just by that outlet alone. Going back to this other side, what I've done here is this rail here in the future, if I chose to, I have it. I just haven't done the, um, I just haven't gotten the cables for it, but this is for the fish finder. Stuff that you'll see me carry on this bow, which is important. You have an, you carry an oar. This is a push pole with a duck, with a duck foot. Extremely important for uh, fishing out here in the Everglades. And that's basically the it. I mean, there's not much to it. It's just a comfortable fishing platform. I mean, if you guys have any questions, any additional questions as far as the boat itself, you guys could always comment down below. But uh, this is my Bass Hunter. All right, so there you have it. That's my breakdown of the Bass Hunter. I know it's not a, a long video. Uh, the reason why it's not a long video is because I've done so many videos fishing off this boat that if you guys want to see how the boat fishes, you're more than welcome to watch any of those videos. Again, but as far as the platform, it fishes really good. I'm still able to stick fish pretty well, maintain my balance. And um, I mean, I know it doesn't look like that when the, when the boat is jostling around, but that's because of, the, of this system here. Um, we, have to, we have to figure out a way to stabilize it more, but it's not because the boat is excessively moving. The boat is pretty sturdy. Um, again, I have not fallen off this boat because of, because of it's being unstable. Another recommendation that I have is to use, to put a little bilge pump in here. I haven't put, I haven't put a bilge pump in here yet, but depending on where you put this trolling motor, if you put that trolling motor in the front and it happens to be a windy day, the w water will come over the, will come over the bow. And then you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a water situation. So if you have a bilge pump, it'll easily pump that out. But other than that, I mean, it's a great boat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the community. It's growing. Uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks again for watching.